When the fourth eruption of the Sunuka crater chains in the March 16, 2024 started, the magma erupted to the surface, quickly creating a chain of craters. Lava flowed toward the south, mainly, and the town of Grindavik was under the threat. But thanks to the efforts of these two professionals, we already had defenses in place to protect the town. And these defenses were implemented in right in time that when the lava reached the vicinity of the L7, L12, and L13 defensive walls, it was diverted toward the sea. It didn't reach the sea. It just rose against those walls. We were continuing to oh, have the thickening of the lava as the con eruption continued for nearly two months. And during that time, we had only one tiny breach of it. The walls were eight meters tall, but it stood up. Now we feel that we have to raise the level or try to build a new wall. Raising the level means that we have to build more uh, widths of the lava, existing lava and wasteland. But practically it's easier to have a, another wall just a few hundred meters inside the old wall and raise it to a level of five meters. The greenhouse probably will be inside that wall or will be outside. It's already evacuated. There is nothing there in the greenhouse. It's just, it's just, it probably is just a base of it and a skeleton, the shell of it. But the L12 and L7, of the lava is already higher slightly than them. Although that is solid and will probably protect it again, like a wall itself. But the new wall will be built and is under construction. And we can see it on the tremors chart that every six hours there is a change of shift. In the case of evacuation, people will have the time to use the western side of the Grindavik, use the ring road around it and just evacuate either toward the north or toward the east. And that's the way.